people who changed the internet landscape. And I can almost guarantee you Andrew Tate is going to be in this video. But let's watch it. January 1st, 1983. This day is considered the birthday of the internet being created. And man, have we come a long way. From the first websites being developed with the most basic of coding to now, well, this. I love you too. Oh my God. This is why I hate when people be like, are you that one TikToker? This is what people think of TikToker. <laughs> ah! No, kill me, kill me. <laughs> Stop. There's a lot of people that have changed the yeah, Tommy's my brother. Internet in their own unique ways throughout the year. So let's go. PewDiePie. PewDiePie gotta be put on the Mount Rushmore for social media in the future. I'm sorry, but there's nothing people can bring up on. I, I expected Mr. Beast to be first. My childhood goat that would ever make me discount his impact. What Even a bridge. PewDiePie really paved the way for people to make bread by uploading videos of them doing it. And just make bread in general by posting on YouTube. Like every kid remembers their parents growing up saying, Oh, this yeah. What is playing games all day ever going to get you? It's not like you can make money from it. <laughs> well, not anymore, your average family-friendly gaming YouTuber is out here driving Ferraris and buying mansions off it. Streamers nowadays are becoming millionaires over it. And it's all thanks to this guy. I don't think you knew kitties even understand how big he was though he was uploading every i never really did y'all watch pewdiepie i never really watched pretty pewdiepie like that day and getting millions of I views mean, on each upload at his peak i remember for the longest time everybody was trying to figure out how much he actually makes considering he was the biggest youtuber i'm talking calculations harvard's smartest professors on well, the um, case but no one ever knew like if you were a yeah kid oh yeah, yeah, yeah i do remember you yeah, yeah, yeah growing yeah, yeah. up in the 2010s I then think there so. was probably a chance you tried to be a gaming youtuber and that was probably because pewdiepie and if it wasn't because oh my god everyone had a youtube channel growing up everybody did you cannot lie everyone had had a YouTube channel. Is it PewDiePie? Then it was probably from one of his predecessors. Markiplier. Okay, I watched PewDiePie. And if it wasn't because of PewDiePie, then it was probably from any games, yeah. I'm gonna try and replay that horror game. I was gonna play Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 today, but I'm not feeling it and it's a Monday, so probably probably either Wednesday we'll play chapter three of Poppy Playtime. But yeah, we do have I do have another horror game. I only watched Dan TDM. I only watch this guy and sometimes him and Van Oss, but I never watched like Corey, um, Jack Scepter guy or PewDiePie. I always like uh, these three. From one of his predecessors, yeah. Markiplier, Jack Septicai, Corey X Kenshin, Van Oss Gaming, Dan TDM. He's damn near the Kira Toriyama of the gaming content industry. I remember when I was younger, even the girls in my class would be watching his videos. You know PewDiePie was big when South Park, out of all things, made a whole episode on it. He's one of the few internet celebs they've ever done it for. You know you've made it when you're on South Park. You made a, you had an old channel? And even when he completely When you go back and watch your old videos, dude. Dude. Completely 180 his content and started doing commentary. Y'all ever just look back on a video? What's up, Omar? Y'all ever just look at, at a video of y'all when y'all were younger and y'all just like, that's me? He only became bigger. It feels unreal to me when I see now that he's the 10th most subscribed YouTuber. Like, how do we let this yes. happen? <laughs> You know what? I don't. I don't care. He'll always be the first. Like you don't. It's funny. You don't realize how cringe you are until you grow up. Like you remember when we thought like flossing and doing the dab was cool, but like now it's just like you look at a kid do it now. You just want to shoot him in the face. <laughs> He'll always be allowed to call me the word on any bridge. Maybe uh, I don't. I don't have to worry about being violent up here. Ninja. Prime Ninja had a crazy run on the gaming industry. This man had a. Ninja had, yeah, Ninja, Ninja had everyone. Viewers, every stream hyped to watch him hit some plays that would be considered ancient nowadays. Like, when y'all Fortnite and started doing this is when I checked out. What the fuck is even going on here? But Ninja's impact was crazy because he made a lot of people get on Twitch for the first time. In fact, for some... Yeah, I didn't even know about Twitch before Ninja started. People, it was their first time even hearing about live streaming. I would have never even considered watching a live stream on Twitch before Ninja and all the Fortnite pros. Like, Twitch really should have gave my man some free stock for their company the way he put on their website. My man's was on the news, on Family Feud, on talk shows. Just don't ask him, uh, what happened on 2018 New Year's Eve. I'm gonna see some movement. I'm 
He was also the first one to turn streaming money into sports money when he got. Who's the, who's the biggest streamer nowadays? Like that uh, Kai guy. That thirty million mix. Who's who's the biggest streamers now? Like I show speed. Who's what's that? Uh, the fat guy, Queso. Uh, yeah, Jinxie C two. Uh, Aiden Ross. Like. Man, Ninja really did, like, start it off. Ninja really did, like... I did not know about Twitch before Ninja. Your contract? Even though it did... W Ninja. ...it lead to his career downfall. Uh, I mean, 30 mil of Roonies in my bank account? I'm signing to any platform. Rumble, Facebook Gaming, Grinder, just bring me the pet. And everyone remembers how golden old Ninja was before he became more corporate. I would be watching his Fortnite... Ninja made Twitch and Fortnite. Yeah, Ninja, I wouldn't say Ninja made Fortnite, but Ninja made Twitch. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say Ninja made Fortnite because Fortnite was still popular without him. Fortnite just, Fortnite, like, was responsible for so many people's careers, like. Clips every day crazy. laughing at some funny ass Like, Ninja doesn't have to work a job because of Fortnite. It, like, he did on stream. And since we're talking about streaming, we wow. might as well throw Aiden Ross in here, too. No matter what you're Aiden Ross was running 2021, 2022, 2020, some of 2023, and I don't think he streamed in a minute. Opinion but. on Aiden is and how you feel about his uh, antics. Uh, my uncle will probably do Facebook gaming. Should I move to Facebook gaming if I get banned on here? He's had a crazy impact on the streaming game. I gotta admit, I actually started frequently watching streamers after Aiden's whole come up and seeing clips of him on TikTok. He normalized it more for rappers and celebrities to look. Yeah, I would say, I would say, uh, stream on YouTube. Hmm, I, I don't, I don't know, man. I would say, I would say Aiden Ross. I would say Aiden Ross, he... I would say Ninja Ninja is the founding father of Twitch and Aiden Ross is like he he started the whole like posting your clips to YouTube thing. I would Look say. into streaming and not just treat it as some nerdy and even though Ninja was the first one to actually bring rappers on streams, I'm talking about like frequently collabing with them. I also didn't know how much money was really in the streaming game before him. It got leaked two years ago. Aiden fell off. That he was getting paid a million. Wait, does he even stream anymore? Only in a week for his gambling deal, which means he was making four million a month off it. Those numbers are absolutely disgusting. I don't know where these gambling companies spawn this money from. <laughs> well, I, actually, I do. But man, how much could your f company be making to just pay one of your sponsorees this? And this is before his whole kick move and him streaming on there, so I could only imagine the amount now. I see these amounts and it damn near makes me want to quit doing commentary reveals. Like, uh, why am I even here for? <sighs> Y'all are lucky I'm broke and stuck here for the next decades of my life. I'll probably be on my deathbed editing my last video. Bell Delphi. <laughs> oh, y'all remember her? The, uh, the and, uh, I didn't say their impact had to be positive. I said they just had to have an impact. Play with Cardi scan. <laughs> I don't know. Are you spelling his name like that? Why? But I think Belle Delphine selling her bathwater was the correlation of the downfall of society. We've been. I, I I mean, look, man. If I'm a girl and people are like, I'll I'll pay ten thousand dollars for your bathwater. I'm not going to decline it. Is it weird? Yes. But is money money? Yes. Feeling since the 2020s. She really left a crater on the internet, then left to never be seen again. I swear, I was not seeing all these OnlyFans hoes on the internet until her. That's why I put in her here, really. She's like the subject zero for all e-girls in that whole stop. Yeah, Belle Delphine, the Belle Delphine is the founding father of uh, OnlyFans girls. I didn't even know that category of women exist out there until her. And I don't know how you dudes be fiending over these e-girls. Where does he get these clips from? Girls and dropping your rent. Would you buy, I would buy your bath water? Nice. Did people actually drink it? Probably not. If I just kept it on the shelf. I mean, but that's still weird. Imagine buying a woman's bath water. Money on them, bro. It gives me the creeps. Especially when they do this face, bro. Okay. bro. Which dudes are seeing this and getting absolutely ferocious over it? Creepy. I feel like every year I hear an OnlyFans girl. So I would buy that. I, I hate I like something more girls. deplorable than the last one. I just... I don't know, man. Only fans, girls. As long as... I don't know. They're... First, it started with Belle Delphine and her bathwater. Then you got the girl who sells her farts in a jar. A girl... Okay. 
What? The Belle Delphine and her bath water. Then you got the girl who sells her farts in a jar. A girl who sells her breast milk in a jar. Put the dude Whoa. who's on an FBI list who buy this. Girl who sells her pee in a jar. And before y'all question- Let me start selling mine. All these girls out here selling- I don't know why I even know these people. It's an article, okay? Sometimes I have to do research for videos I don't like. You're welcome. Uh, I already know people are not going to believe me. As proof, I'm putting the article in the description. Nowadays, I'm not even surprised when I see an OnlyFans girl selling some weird shit anymore. Soon enough, they'll start selling their skin follicles and toenails and leftover food for dudes. Andrew Tate. Some say- <laughs> It's the main man, Andrew Tate. A bag's a bag. I'm saying- like, look, is it weird to sell my bath water if I'm a girl? Yes. But if it's making me bands. Hey, he fell off. Others say he's still here. All we know is that Andrew Tate's peak was ridiculous. When Andrew Tate was blind. <laughs> I, I don't even, I don't think Andrew Tate, like, cares that he fell off. Like, Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate wasn't even posting, like, stuff. People were, like, clipping his stuff from Twitter. I don't even think Andrew Tate meant it to blow up. Oh, People were just clipping his, his like, his weird Twitter and then putting it on TikTok. But oh my God, Andrew Tate had a run, like his little his little streams he did with Aiden Ross. Andrew Tate was running it. Nope, I feel like it made a rupture in the social media universe, Scott. It's like and then the bottom G dude too. Everyone stopped what they were doing on the internet to see what this dude got going on. And it was a pretty entertaining time to be honest. People were just fighting online 24/7. You had people who absolutely hated Tate to his core, no matter what he did. And then you and then the the, the <laughs> Andrew Tate's fans. What kind of server got him? You had dudes who derided him no matter what he said. I wasn't really seeing any of these alpha and. This whole, this whole, like, thing is so cringe. I don't understand why this exists. Like, podcasts, where they, they get a bunch of OnlyFans models with, who is, is that that, that, why in, is that that rapper that, like, felt, and who is this? That, that's a guy, 1,000%. Red Pill podcast and YouTubers before him. Hold up, why the f is YP in the mirror here? Oh, they, I'm, <laughs> I'm, why is he there? Mr. really fell off. This man had d riders <laughs> so hard they made careers by just copying his style like sneeko the oh only time God. i see please don't get me started on this guy lose on him oh now God. is if he's getting publicly embarrassed and all the constant arrest <laughs> and cases just boosted him even more because you know as soon as andrew tate gets arrested the <laughs> riders run straight to the comments to say it's the matrix i think after the, <laughs> the matrix court case was in session i remember when andrew tate got arrested it hit, when he got out he was like the matrix has attacked me and they started they chilled out with saying all the wild stuff and that's why they fell off but oh let's be real God. the actual reason is nobody's watching you on rumble my you also had them being banned damn near everywhere which i thought was unneeded for like was it ever that deep apparently the government the uk even banned mm. him from schools which how the fuck does that even work like can andrew tate got banned from schools when is your twitch gonna get unbanned i don't know i i'll just either stay up here Move to YouTube or go back to Twitch when it gets on band. But for now, we're here. The kids not say his name or if they do, do they get a 10 minute timeout? So yeah, we could definitely say that Andrew Tate has left his own crater on the internet. What y'all thoughts about Andrew Tate? Oh, KSI. KSI. The main reason I'm- The whole boxing thing. Putting KSI even... here is because of boxing. This man jumped- started the whole I'm Asian but I don't eat cat dude, influencer buddy. boxing scene which I never thought would exist before like if you told me in 2017 that Jake Paul the white Ohio boy from team 10 would fight Mike Tyson in the future I would die laughing on the spot it also still feels weird to me nowadays that KSI and Logan Paul are partners because they used to be sworn enemies and I was hyped as f when they were about to fight if you were watching at the time the build-up to this fight was nuts it was so funny to watch the press conferences on unravel because there would always end up being a random brawl out of no this era of youtube was just where someone was throwing a random chair a ran move to youtube it, it keeps autocorrecting what do you mean 
the water bottle across the stage and the hype was super up too because logan was still seen as an absolute monster by everyone on social media and he kind of still is now but he had a recovery but then he slipped up but then he apologized <laughs> i don't even know how people view him now okay all you need to know is that this was right after the japan force incident Do you need any like qualifications to go live on youtube so no not? one liked him and in the first fight they ended up getting a draw so they planned another fight right after which made it even more hype on who was gonna win and jake paul and deji also fought which was just hilarious to see going from fighting comedy schwartz gamer to mike tyson in a few years doesn't sit right with me that's one hell of a path change oh isn't jake paul fighting mike ty ah uh. <laughs> when is that fight when is mike when is jake to fall jake paul fighting mike tyson oh that's gonna be funny and before all this there was no way actual professional uh, athletes would even is it true that every black person has a do-rag and a bonnet uh i don't know i don't wear bonnets even give a chance to a youtuber to fight them and now it's common to see with jake paul going in your local neighborhood to find a grandpa and knock him out in the ring nowadays influencer boxing kind of got inflated like the only time you really see something is when a huge influencer is fighting and other than that it'll just be a bunch of youtubers that fell off trying to make some bread and when my inevitable fall off <laughs> comes in the future guys just know november this is the last thing I'm ever f I was doing in my life. I screech when food touches my other food on the plate. I'm not built for this. Mr. Beast. Now, this should be the most obvious one because it's... I think Mr. Beast has had the biggest impact on YouTube. Other than other than Ninja, Mr. I think Mr. Beast has had the biggest impact. S Mr. F Beast. Man started giving absorbent amounts of money to random people, which wasn't unheard of, but he definitely took it to the next level. And it was a double-edged sword because the amount of Mr. Beast clones is still multiplying to this day. I swear, a person starting YouTube for the first time nowadays is always going to be a Mr. Beast clone. It's funny seeing Mr. Beast grow too, because I remember nowadays is always going to be a Mr. Beast. Who's that one Russian guy? I want to say Morg. Morg has been doing it longer i think beast clown it's funny we seeing quit, mr beast but... grow too because i remember when mr beast used to bully kids on youtube and y'all might think i'm capping but nah jimmy donaldson had that dog in him at one point and i'm not gonna lie i found him at that time and oh boy did he make a career change oh phew okay for a second there i thought that bleach i've been drinking was starting to kick in but no apparently it wasn't the bleach apparently the kids just Mr. Beast, bro, Mr. Beast back in the day used to be insane. Oh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. Let me know what you're- I remember his, his uh, attack helicopter he did with Chris, man. I think follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. As All right, W, w Tommy and